Rule changes are coming to Cleveland City Council and it has to do with disruptions during meetings and how they'll be handled. For more on this, we turn to Austin Love. Austin, what can you tell us this morning? Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Dave. Th these rule changes come after council meetings last week was cut short due to pro-Palestinian protesters chanting in a meeting while calling for a ceasefire resolution in the Israel-Hamas war. Take a look inside here. Why come out of you on the clock? Yeah, that was the scene, and demonstrators have been at these meetings for months, and to help maintain order, there will be new rule changes for meetings going forward now. So listen to these. New rules say that uh, they, when the meeting is disrupted, there will be a warning. If disruptions then continue, the meeting will then go into a recess. The public safety director will then clear the council chambers, and when the meeting reconvenes, the public will not be allowed to be back in those meetings. We spoke with Council President Blaine Griffin. He says that these new, new rules rules are being put into place to keep order in meetings now and moving forward. Well, all we want to do is reiterate what our rules are, make sure that we have decorum, but most and foremost, make sure that the public, the protesters, the other visitors, as well as council and the council staff, as well as the administration and their staff, um, all have safety measures in place so that we don't have any incidents. And Griffin says that he is being very patient with the group, understanding just really how deeply personal and tragic the war is for many and respecting their right to protest. And the group of Palestinian supporters, they say that uh, they plan to be at next week's meeting as well. Dave. All right. And I'm sure we will be there. All right. Austin, thank you.